In this video, we will examine the basics of measuring voltage, current and resistance using a digital multimeter. Note that other videos in the training series will give you more detailed information on the actual meters. Now, this is um, called a multimeter. It's called a multimeter because it can measure resistance, voltage and current. So the first thing we need to note about our multimeter is how to turn it on. So there's a red button here, just a toggle switch, press the red button and um, the device turns on. It also has the feature in this particular model that it doesn't need to be turned off again. It will auto turn off, uh, which saves you having to worry about that. Now, the multimeter comes um, with a scale. If we look up here, we can see this ohm or omega symbol, which stands for ohms. So the resistance scale goes from 200 ohms all the way up to 200 mega ohms. The M stands for mega. Um, we can go across here and we can look at um, amps. So an amp with a straight line or a dot actually indicates DC amps. So its scale is from, on this particular machine, a multimeter is from 2 milliamps all the way up to 20 amps. Um, DC. If we want to measure AC amps, we need to put it on the AC scale. So we have amps AC and we have 20 amps down to um, 20 milliamps for this device. And then if we want to do the same with voltage, we have the DC volt scale over here. It goes from 200 millivolts all the way up to 1000 volts DC. And then for AC, it goes from um, 2 volts AC all the way up to 700 volts AC. Now, if I want to leave it on the, either of the voltage scales, um, if I'm using, say, um, the power supply, 50 hertz power supply, I want to leave it in the 50 in the AC range. If I'm using a DC supply on the bench, say plus 5 volts or uh, plus or minus 15 volts, I want to do it, put it in the volt, DC volt range. So that's the the reason you would choose to select those two. So that brings us um, to the leads. Now, there's two leads coming out of our multimeter. There's the volts lead, which is red, and then the common lead, or our reference volt uh, common, called the COM. So normally we plug the black one uh, into the common, and the red one into the ohms, volts, uh, hertz um, lead. Now, if I've got it in either the voltage DC or voltage AC modes. I can now use this to measure the voltage across uh, our system. Again, make sure it's on. Um, <coughs> it's actually in high voltage, so I'll just drop it down to 20 volts DC. And say I've got a resistor here, and I want to measure the voltage across that. And well, let's just for the sake of argument assume that this is the higher potential, and that's the lower potential, and it's DC. So say that's plus 5 volts, and this is maybe pl plus 2 volts. So 2 volts is less than that. If I want to do a measurement across that resistance while it's actually in circuit situ, I would put the positive uh, red lead uh, on the higher potential p point and the black lead on the lower potential point in parallel and I would take a measurement. And then if in fact this had been um, the voltage I suggested, it should have measured a voltage drop across those two points of 3 volts DC. Um, so that, that's how I use a multimeter uh, to measure voltage, either DC or AC, uh, simply change the scales. Current is measured with an ammeter. To measure current, the circuit must be broken to allow the ammeter to be connected in series to ensure all the current flows through the device. Ensure the multimeter leads are in the sockets for measuring current. Note that there is more than one socket. As a result, you must be aware of the amount of current you are measuring. For most of the circuits you build, you will most likely be dealing with current in the milliamp range. Once again, the black lead remains in the common socket. Note that there is a current range for AC and DC. The straight line represents DC, while the sine wave represents AC. The values on the meter show the maximum current that can be read. Be very careful when swapping from the amp and milliamp ranges, as the red lead must be changed accordingly. One of the most useful features of the digital multimeter is its ability to test for conductivity. By setting up the multimeter as shown, you can determine if two points are connected to each other by listening for a beep. This is great for fault finding as you can easily check for wiring connection problems and breaks in your circuit.